and protection you've put upon us. People wherever they are listening to us. protection you put upon our country. We shall to give you glory and glory. This morning, come and speak to us through your word. Holy Spirit, minister to our lives. For we need you. We glorify who dwells in eternity. Glory and honor be back to you through Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. We want to thank God for the good morning today that he has given us. And for the grace he has given us to live. We thank him for the protection he has put upon us. We want to thank God from wherever you are those watching and listening to us. Thanking God for he has protected us. We thank him for he still provides what to eat and drink. In all things we give God the glory. We want to thank God for the people that give in their tithe and offer to raise as they were commanded in the Bible. One of the signs to show that this is your church, your ministry, where you fellowship from, is you being that you still pay the tithe and offertories in the house of the Lord. What will you do after opening you coming to say this is my church if you had forgotten about the church and everything concerning it? You still have something you get in your hand then it means you have to still give the church. And it is the responsibility of Believers to support the ministry. That is how God made the system of the church. So there is no way we can move on for things to move on unless there are people that give in money. Truth is to some God has blessed you wherever you are but you don't give in. And to others you, you give your tithe to those pastors over the radios and TVs. Then there we get to know you're still young spiritually. Bible says bring your tithe and offertories in the house. The house where you feed from spiritually is where you give your tithe and offertories. You don't just be touched when you find a man preaching on the road. You're like, I'm touched by your message. Get the tithe. You don't just be touched when you find a man preaching on that one on the road, you can give them money like you give to some other person. Even the one on TV preaching, you're like, I'm touched. You give them money. To others, you visit hospital, someone is so sick, you're like, I'm touched, and then you give them the tithe instead of giving it to the Lord. That is your issue. I believe, especially members of this church, for we told them. Who are sick and need you can give them of your money, not of the Lord. For the Lord's money, you have to take it where it is. If you take it somewhere, you won't get the blessing. And Bible says as you give it in you swing it and serve never given it to people that are dead even if you've lost someone you don't give in the money for the Lord instead 
bisente ita mikono jo jake chimwe cha 10 kilete mnyumba ya mukama imene mchisobora okutambura bweleza bugende mu every money that passes through your hands speak a tithe of it bring it in the house of the lord for the ministry to go on kati njagala kweba za katondo lwa bantu abadde abisigwa i want to thank god for the people that have been faithful abawayo ebimwe bya 10 ne biwe bwayo omulimu nagena mu maso mukama abawo mukisa ne mpira ya mwetagenda kubabula that given their tithe and offerings for the work to go on god bless you you won't lack your reward atemwa ababadde bali ekimwe cha 10 welira chikolimo and you that have been using the tithe you're eating a curse you're drawing poverty to yourself unknowingly amen amen let's proceed right now as we are going to hear the word of god when talk about adultery in the house of the lord so take heart but i'm bringing We've been so faithful in preaching the messages, especially those about giving. By the way, can't let me forget about let me bring it this way we've been so faithful in teaching people when you're giving this much money you reap this much we've been so faithful in teaching about that but we've not tackled much of talking about the character that are going to help people inherit eternal life let me introduce myself that you may know me well pastor andu semakula ucc mukono kwao jagani omsaje yawude njiri samutegede nze semakula owa ucc mukono ndi musumba because you would be like the man who preached I didn't understand him well I'm semakula you see simukono I'm a pastor Ninabye ngende okutereza tereza mwawa bamtembya agala ne ye abagala ogenda muguru kijja kukwatako nebono bamuwereza nebono bamukiriza osanga abamu osobola okugoba omukazi oyinza nokumutandikira ono muganti ngabwa atandise ogirosiba things i'm going to put right even if you are a minister even if you are a believer and you got a second wife you can even tell them to pack since he has started sinanyo bigambo biwo mate sigoteke doku binte kamunze enze mbula chigambo cha katona nga bwa chimpadde i don't have very sweet words i know that i'm supposed to put them in but i preach the word of god the way he has given it to me sigwe wampita yampita yante kawe rampadde chigambo ngenda kuogera ku bwenzi mu nyumba ya mukama you know the one who you know the one who called me the one who called me has given me the word i'm going to talk about adultery in the house of the lord right from the apostles and believers everyone inclusive even the one who has gotten saved and the one thinking about getting saved adultery in the house of the lord is so plain and no one is talking about it when a pastor is adulterous he has no power to tell people that adultery is evil and you spoil the house of the lord making salvation useless because adultery has moved from top up to down and the house of the lord has lost all the honor we get so excited preaching about how to become rich how to get a blessing but the principles that help people to inherit the kingdom of god we have not talked about them let me begin with a chapter uh, ephesians 5 verses 3 eramwa babadde bali ku fashion na dalazivude wa gure mba bishop oboli archi bishop njogera wanu mbalokole oboli hapo soboli musumba mwina kakati je mwate kaunga mugenda mugobango oleta abato oleta abato gwe 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 ndiko lwa lero gwe kenyini kenyini oyinzo kubanga tompulana yakatambi baka kutuka ko kaulirizira mu kisenge gwe gwe ndiko gwe no mukiriza yena yena there's a system which some people had put chasing their old wives and bringing new wives you are the ones i'm talking about wherever you are listening bible gami mbefesa sultano nyilo akusatu bible says in ephesians 5:3 
But fornication and all uncleanliness or covertness, let it not be made named among you as it is fitting for saints. Neither filthiness nor foolishness, talking nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person or covert man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them. Bible has even refused you to sit under an adulterous pastor. If your pastor is adulterous as a believer, pack your things and go tell them the reason why I've gone is because you are adulterous. And the reason why we failed to put right the house of the Lord is getting some things and we failed to give them their right names. Adultery is evil. We give them other names and we are like, he's adulterous, but he has some weakness. But adultery is a sin that can take you to hell. Let me let me move from down verse 7 says therefore do not be partakers with them if you had a friend and knew the adulterous the bible has refused you to be partakers with them and you a pastor that is adulterous, if you say that I call you no more, I no longer talk to you, just know the Bible has refused me to be partakers with you. You will make me become adulterous because the Bible says when you move with evil people, they corrupt your good conduct. Even believers, if you have a friend and is adulterous, changing men or changing women, the Bible has said never be partakers with them or don't be in one accord with them. Ephesians 5.3 But fornication and all uncleanness or covertness, let it not be even be named among you as fitting for saints. Obwezi. Adultery. No and covertness. Obwezi chechi. What is adultery? Obwezi ye muntunga ino mukazi. Adultery is someone having their wife. Nafu no mukazi omula. They get another woman. Obwezi ye muntunga ino musajja. Someone having their husband. Nafu na yo musajja omula. They get some other man. Oyobamu yita muenzi. That one is called an adulterous person. Nebeda ya itibua omukaba. Then there's a fornicator. Fornication is someone not married or has never gotten married. But when they do acts of married people, that one is called a fornicator. Let me repeat it. An adulterous person is someone who got married or was married. Like me, married my wife. Twenty eight years in marriage. I get some other woman. That one is called adultery. And the Bible has told me the moment I get another woman, I don't have any portion. Can't go into the kingdom of God. Can't even get closer to heaven. So 
a fornicator is like my brother who has never married. They, they get a sister or a widow and then they start getting into sex like married people. That one is called a fornicator. So the Bible has said that fornication and uncleanness should not even be mentioned among us. But but fornication and all uncleanness or covertness, let it not be named among you as it is fitting for saints. And covertness are the acts that cause someone to get into lust or to get into masturbation. Those ones are called acts of covertness. Those that Abe, fall in love with animals. Abe, those that have sex with goats. Abe, ente, having sex with cows. Abe, mbwa, having sex with dogs. Sex mbwa, having sex with dogs. Sex nebikere, having nebienje, sex with nebienje, frogs nebienje, and cockroaches and lizards. Abababaitabagwagwa. Those ones are called covetous people. Dole, those that have dolls. Lived abroad, those dolls are sold in supermarkets. When a woman is a covetous woman, they buy a doll that has the male parts. It is a male part. You see different. They take it without fearing anyone. They put it on the counter in the supermarket. Even a man can come. They buy a female part. They put it on the counter. And they go home. And then they have masturbation with their dog. Those are called acts of covertness. To some they go in such acts. They get dogs. Those whites, you see them in movies. I was watching, I was like, they have a lot of love for their dogs. Then they told me, those are mates, like, is the lover of that animal. They are short, short, small dogs. They are like the work of that dog. It is the one that acts like the male. Then I wanted to know how does the dog do it. And they told me that's they trained it when it reaches night it works as the male so such act should not be even mentioned as it is fitting for saints in the house of the Lord such things covertness, fornication, adultery should not even be mentioned but today I want to lay more emphasis on adultery. Because adultery has gone so far, especially in this season of lockdown. Lockdown among the girl child, the singles. But not the singles only, but even the marriage. They have been showing those ends of Kamuli. In one sub county, 90 girls got pregnant. 90. Lockdown. in this season of lockdown. They made the lockdown but they didn't put lockdown on adultery. Even other married people had two homes. The thing was uncovered. Someone the lockdown found him in a different place. By the time he called, the woman, the woman didn't pick. So adultery is moving on. But unto the unborn born again, that is not news. But to us children of God, we got saved to come out of that, to run out of that. 
that we may survive and inherit eternal life. One of the ten commandments God gave to Moses. One of the commandments in Exodus 20. Verses 14 says, do not commit adultery. Do not commit adultery. Verses 14 says you shall not commit adultery. You shall not commit adultery. Some people, especially these that teach the doctrine of grace, they are like the commandments were removed. They are no longer in action. I don't know. I don't have time. I don't want to go deeper into that. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal. So do you do all the rest? It shows you some of the commandments and how we put into action all of them. But adultery has increased the lot in the house of the Lord. It has gone forth at a higher level. People no longer have fear in committing adultery. The first church, the church of born again in Uganda, it had the glory of God. Whenever they knew you were adulterous, they couldn't allow you to come and mingle with them. But in this generation, because we are in competition, we even do things which are not there. Where does the competition come from? How can Jesus compete with fellow Jesus? Because in this generation, we are in competition. When someone is in this church, they stop them because of adultery. They move to another church. A pulpit, if they are a singer, they tell them, begin oh, from there. Come a you have the anointing. Which kind of anointing is that? When an adulterous person leaves this church, they'll go to another church, they just welcome them. Bible says in Galatians 5, talking about the acts of the flesh. And verses 19. It says, but now the works of the flesh are evident, which are it begins adultery. Even if I don't go to the others because I don't have time, but I want to tackle most on adultery. The acts of the flesh are evident, which are he begins mentioning them, 18 of them, but he begins with the first act called adultery. One of the things that show that you're carnal and to show that you're a child spiritually and to show that you won't inherit eternal life being that you still move in adultery. Let us overcome adultery in the house of the Lord. Adultery is a sin. Let's go to Ezekiel 16. Ezekiel 16 verses 25. Ezekiel 16 25 up to 30. Ezekiel Buli, muise, no yongera kubwenzi, no yongera kubwenzi wo. You build your high places at the head of every road and made your beauty to be aboard. You offered yourself to everyone who passed by and multiplied your acts of halotry. Ero yenze kubamisiri, baliru anabo, abo mubiri, omunene. No yongera, no yongera kubwenzi wo. You also committed a halotry with Egyptians, your very fleshy neighbors, and increased your acts of halotry to provoke me to anger. Adultery annoys God. Verses 27. 
Nenkuwayo elio kwa gala kwa avo Aba kuchawa Aba wala baba filisuti Aba kwa atidua ensonyi Ekubolio elio bukaba Behold therefore I stretched out my hand against you Diminished your allotment And gave you up to the will of those who hate you The daughters of the Philistines Who were ashamed of your lewd behavior he first went to the Egyptians with big bums and committed adultery with them. 28. You also played the harlot with the Assyrians because you were insatiable indeed. You played the harlot with them and still were not satisfied. Moreover, you multiplied your acts of harlotry as far as the land of the trader, Chaldean, and even then you were not satisfied. Verse 30. How degenerate is your heart, says the Lord God, seeing you do all the things, the deeds of a brazen harlot. When you have one of the acts to show that your heart is so weak is to be that you can be easily taken by adultery. Everything that passes by can take you. Children of God. We need to be able to stand. What do we overcome? What do we overcome? As we overcome anger, as we overcome theft, as we overcome deceit, that is how we ought to overcome adultery. By the way, let me tell you this. If someone is to get saved, one of the things that they will stand, the moment you overcome adultery, those are some of the levels to show that you're going to stand. The moment you overcome adultery, Adultery is a demon that is anointed. But you ought to show that your heart is strong. Whoever you see passing by with big bums, with breasts, you look at them for your heart is so weak. Born again, overcome adultery. Mukiriza, believer, overcome adultery. Bishop, Bishop overcome adultery. Someone I saw yesterday and he amazed me. Not yesterday. Yesterday but one. So a lady who separated with her husband. We were in a meeting. Then I saw her pregnant. And then I called a lady who was a pastor. I asked her. I was like, hey. Had separated. They come together with a husband. And then this one whispered to me. She was like, no. The husband left. And then he got married to another woman. Even the woman got another brother in church and they got married. The things are of just dragging. Someone. The husband has run away to go and marry another woman. Even this lady has gotten some other brother. She's pregnant. The pregnancy of adultery swells so much. The tummy was so big, swollen. Bible has said, Your heart is so weak. Let us overcome adultery at all levels. Even if you are an apostle. We've ashamed so much the Lord God. I went to Tizen and I'm going to preach the gospel. The pastor, the bishop who was there told me, he told me God gave Ugandans the anointing. 
Uganda bali anointed. Like Ugandans are so anointed. Kabisho puno munene ye yali akulembera bamuita mwasota nga yakulembera ba born again mu Tanzania muna. Big bishop leading all the born agains in TZ. Na gamba umwana ne bwa janga mutobwa ati. Like even if a child comes when they are young. No microphone. You give them a microphone. E bigambo bya yogera bana. The works they speak. Bali anointed. You are so anointed. Na gamba ne yemu ine bizu bibili. But you have two problems only. God gave you the anointing. The first problem you have. You are cheats concerning money. When you give a Uganda and a pal, just know what is next. They are going to cheat. It's like second thing that we failed is adultery. Uganda can preach on the pulp with a lot of anointing. But when they move behind, you find them with another sister calling. A lot of anointing of preaching. But theft and money. That says the Lord. Even another thing, adultery. Let us overcome adultery. Adultery spoils the name. Imagine how the name gets spoiled. The name has gotten spoiled all over down there. The post was holding briefcases. Committed adultery in Southern Africa. Tanzania, Kenya. TZ Kenya all over. Every woman there, they have fallen in love with them. Adultery. Is a sin that can take you to hell. Adultery is a sin that can take you to hell. Listen to what the Bible teaches in Jeremiah 7. And verses 9. This is what we do. It says, Ne mutambula okugobelela bakatonda abalala be mutamanya ne mujja ne muimilla maso gange mu nyumba eno etumidwe erinya lyange ne mwogera anti tuwonyezebwe tulioke tu tuwonyezebwe mulioke mukole emizze ejo jonna enyumba ene etumidwe erinya lyange efuse kuyaba nyazi mu maso gamwe labanze nze mwene nkirabye bwayogera mukama ne yimugende no musiro Will you still murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense? Will you still commit murder, mm -hmm. commit adultery, mm -hmm. swear falsely, burn incense to Baal? And walk after those gods whom you do not know. Verse 10. And then come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name. And say, we are delivered to do all these abominations. Has this house which is called by my name become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I even have seen it, says the Lord. But now, mm -hmm. but go now to my place which was in Shiloh where I set my name at the first and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people Israel. That after stealing and killing and committing adultery then we come back and raise our hands and God sees drama and he says first go to Shiloh where I made my name dwell first and see what I did to it God can move from one place to another whenever you do something that doesn't please him he can shift and go away and even if you are so anointed God can depart from you and this is what hurts he departs from you without informing you that I'm going a lot of anointing of people that are called 
that have different gifts that has been poured and what has made it to be poured is called adultery. Haven't you read about Samson? His anointing got poured on the thighs of Delilah. Samson. Samson. Mighty man of valor. Because of adultery. On the thighs of Delilah. Then by the time he came back to his senses, God had already departed. Adultery chases away God. I don't know whether by the time we came to salvation we were tired. We are just changing women. We move to and fro, to and fro. The one who was with the other one brings a different one. God hates adultery. Let me go to Proverbs. Time is running. Proverbs 6. And we say a few words there. Proverbs 6 from verses 24. We start from there. The big theme. He can't make you clap. But it helps. Okukumanga eri omukazi omubi eri okuyimilla ko lulimi lwo mugenyi to keep you from the evil woman from the flattering tongue of a seductress ne kanso kenso mo lwa bilimwe satu let me first read 23 gababulilla suluman as they give counsel to solomon kubange teka tabaza ekiragiro musana no kuninya koyo akuyigiriza for the commandment is a lamp and the law a light. Reproofs of instruction are the way of life. To keep you from the evil woman from the flattering tongue of a seductress. An adulterous person, if they are man, they are evil, but even a woman is evil too. They are giving counsel to Solomon. They had a spirit, the father and mother. They are giving counsel to him. And when he failed to take that counsel, what happened to him? He committed adultery and had a thousand women. He ends up in a disaster. That vanity upon vanity is all vanity. After giving himself to adulterous women, that they changed his heart and he departed from God. Let's read that. Let's read that. Let's read that. Do not lust after her beauty in your heart. No let her allure you. No let her allure you with her eyelids. But to overcome adultery. This is a lipstick that smiles. The stereo voices. Agambie. I said you ought to overcome all those. Bible teaches and says you ought to be diligent in guarding your heart. A mysterious and the dimples and the eyelids that are artificial they put on. Do not last after her beauty in your heart. So that she doesn't get you. Others have artificial bums they buy. I didn't know. I saw things being sold. I asked my wife, what are these? She was like, for you, you don't understand. She's like, those are artificial hips. You see someone with hips. Of all sides, like, they are hips. And then you're like, I'm going with this one who has hips. 
Yet you're going with artificial hips. So they have told you, guard your heart. Youths out there listening to me, guard your heart. Married out there listening, guard your heart. Our girls out there, guard your heart. The way men corn is different. Because if we don't tell you this, you won't. A man corns you with money. A woman corns with their thighs and the good figure. As you sit in the office, she comes to sweep. Putting on a very short dress. Like my shirt. Now she's sweeping. Then she times when the boss is looking at the side. And there's no one who lays a trap and they are far away from it. I grew up from the village. When you lay a trap, you're just close to it. The animal may get trapped and run away. So she sweeps as she peeps at you to see whether the trap has gotten you. So the boss who is born again is taken in the trap. The Bible has said, Do not last after her beauty in your heart. Verses 26. For by means of a harlot, a man is reduced to a crust of bread, and an adulteress will prey upon his precious life. There are two parts that we ought to handle them slowly. For by means of a harlot, a man is reduced to a crust of bread. A man, a man that has been mighty even if you were king even if you who the moment you fall into this trap of adult you just become mere food just something there because of adult people have forsaken their homes someone lives a bungalow because of adultery they enter into a hut Someone just becomes mere bread. Because of adultery, people have left their children. A man leaves their home to take care of them. Why? An adulterous person is so wise. They trust you in. They trapped a pastor. By the time a believer reached, was even a friend. Friend was never God and served. Told him like this. Issues of adultery, me, I left them. Was a Muslim woman. Issues of adultery, I left them. This one says that is so good. It's like I remain with pastor only. There are some words that hurt and pierce. And the believer said, What? Issues of adultery, I quit. I remain with pastor only. My pastor is enough for me. And the other one told him it is impossible. Pastor can't do like that. Like, uh -huh. My pastor, pastor, he buys me fish, is enough for me. But the pastor has a home. And he had run away from the home. And then went to this hajat. Now this believer wanted to come. He's hurting for the kingdom. She wanted to come and find out the truth. So she came to the friend. So she saw the motorcycle with a bunch of matoko was entering. was like, I'll go in the evening. He went to the friend, the hajat. The hajat had one room. The moment he entered, 
The pastor was on the bed. As you know, one room. The chairs are there. Curtain separate. Pastor. The pastor didn't know that someone he had pastored before is the one who had come in. So open the curtain. So the believer saw when it is the real pastor that he knew very well, on the bed resting, waiting. And then the believer asked pastor and then he closed the curtain and then the believer went on crying. Woe unto me. An unbeliever just testified. I no longer commit adultery. My pastor is enough for me. There are some words the Bible says should not even be spoken about. Imagine a pastor. How he enters into the hajat. Which kind of gospel do you preach to the hajat telling her get saved? get saved. Listen to what it says in verse 26. For by means of a harlot, a man is reduced to a means of a harlot, a man is reduced to a crust of bread and an adulteress will prey upon his precious life. The devil is moving with a spirit of adultery hunting for precious lives. Nachino I want you to hear this also. Pastors pray for the believers, but even believers pray for the pastors when it's still early. Pray for your pastor and other pastors. Because without you praying for them, told you of an evangelist who went to the street 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 those days that is where prostitutes used to camp before spreading over. they used to stay at speak even as you go down to Serena the pastor went evangelist he was an evangelist, not a pastor. God had called him for he was a youth to go and preach the gospel to these prostitutes on the street. They have the anointing. Even the anointing they have it comes from Satan with the spirit of Jezebel. He preached. God loves you. Get saved. God loves you that he had been given a gift of preaching to these prostitutes on the street. But they have the anointing. They are not empty. The evangelist. I don't know how many times he preached. They captured him. By the time he finished, he had become a customer to these prostitutes. Bible teaches and says when you're putting right a sinful person you first strengthen yourself Lest they drag you and push you into sin. You may cancel a quarrelsome person and you end up becoming quarrelsome too. Adultery. An adulterous woman prays on precious life. Even an adulterous man looks for precious life. Our sisters, sisters, so many of them. There's one who came and asked her, but you have a baby. You used to be single. How did you get the baby? <laughs> How did you get the baby? She to answer. I was like, is the man born again? She's like, he's not born again. Born again others fall into sin. Even the non-believers make believers fall into sin. Overcome what we call adultery. Pray for yourself. 
hate the sin of adultery determined to say I'm going to inherit eternal life men con with money they just drop their money they drop money on the table they're like there is the money I explained to you and let me explain to you again a girl who was so powerful spiritually she was working on the reception the haji came a man told her I've given you 10,000 take the 10,000 she could direct her to go to the boss it's like money for what? It's like, just take. So the girl knew she was like, let me not eat a hook. She was like, I want your money. A girl was so good spiritually. She was still in Kasubi. The Haji came back and put 50,000. He's like, take the money. The girl was like, I want your money, take it. Then he added. The other time he came, he doesn't come one day. He doesn't come one day gave her 200,000. Like, Take the money and use it. Then the lady was like, I don't want your money. Now one day, they brought 800,000. It's like, here is 800,000. Given it to you to use it. Early in the morning, I was still the admin. Like before you go, I want to see you. I want to see you. Time for service. Now, before you go to service, I have a problem. I have a problem. Like, what has happened to her? She like, I have a man who came to work for me. He gave me 10,000. I refused it. I told him, take your money. He took the money. Then he got 50. I told him, take your money. He took away the money. He brought 200,000. I told him, take the money. He took the money. Pastor. But pastor. Yesterday he brought me 800,000. But he has not told me anything. But I kept the money. But pastor, should I take the money? When they gave her 10,000, she didn't come to the pastor. 50,000, she didn't come. 200,000 she didn't come to the past. Upon 800,000 she wants counseling. Should I tithe of this? And pastors need to be prayed for. If someone tells you of 800,000 you can be like first remove a seed from it and remove the tithe from it. What made Jacob to overcome? It is called the saint. Jacob. Jacob. Isaac. 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 Why Isaac was overcome? Was just the smell of meat. Jacob. Isaac again to quiet out. By the time Isaac tried to touch around, it's like the voice is like for Jacob. But the body Esau. is like for Esau. You are still listening to that. And then Jacob opened the smell of the meat and it hit him. And it hit Isaac. It's like, hurry up, I the blessing. My meat is getting cold. Even this one brings the envelope. When he opens you, hear the smell of the tithe. Then you're gone. Adultery. I told her, why didn't you come at first? You can't eat the money of a man. And then he doesn't follow you. Hear this from me. Even if a man gives you a sweet, the moment you eat it, then he knows you. Eat and me too. Let's go out. I can say, uh, may you ask for what you want. And then you're like, I'm just going to eat. I'll eat his money. He will get back to his senses. Whose money are you eating? Whenever you eat chips and chicken, then he knows you've eaten me too. 
You have to overcome adultery. You just take her and say, let me go back to my castle. Go back to my chapati and beans. And on all sides. We have youths that are in prayer. Lord, Lord, Lord. Give me a blessing. Bring me a woman. She has, she has a bungalow. She has a bungalow. She explains she trades in China. She buys me a car. That one who has such things. If she's not a widow, then she just divorced from somewhere. Pray to God and tell him to give you a blessing. Told you there are so many youths. They have married their grannies. But what is dragging them is property. Let me go back to adultery. And an adulterous woman prays upon precious life. I hear you say, Pastor, go with your wife. Go with your Someone was got hold of. And then he fell on the hook. He doesn't even understand what he speaks. It needs to be a done deliverance. It is nothing so difficult like someone being sick and they are not aware. They are, sick. they are the ones who treat and yet they are the ones who need to be treated. Bible says, verse can a man take fire to his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Or can one walk on hot coals and his feet not be seared? So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. Whoever touches her shall not be innocent. You can't put coals of fire in your bosom. And then your clothes fell apart. And your heart is not captured and is changed. Let us run away from adultery. Adultery, they run away from it like Joseph did. Run away from adultery. You've seen a sister seated. Some people are so free. She's seated the way she wants. When you look at her, you can see everything. And then you, the brother, you continue interceding. Help the sisters. Change the way she sits. Change the way she sits. Change them and they dress well. Lord, Lord. Lord. Restore the grace unto the sisters. Just run away. The Bible says, Job says, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look at a woman. How would I have gone to a woman? Run away from adultery. When you see the nika and you want to look and see what is there. I don't know. It's They are now capturing your heart. That one is a trap. They will trap you and take you. We've lost out on so many people that have been in church. What has made them to backslide is adultery. We've lost out on so many ministers with the anointing. What has made them backslide is adultery. Told you of someone who has been shaken. Is adultery. Just the wife. Then brought another woman. But as they were shaking him, he spoke a word that is still standing up to now. He said, I'm going to bring a list of you that are attacking me. As I speak, the children you have, pastors were quiet. I was conversing with one pastor told him the man threatened 
Hadi bamugamba tu fa ku mukazi fa ku mukazi him leave the second woman leave the mukazi yamsaje ati ati the man just threatened the people but people became quiet go bo mukazi fa bo to mugoba chikwena if you don't chase her naga ngenda ku janelist kid i'm going to come with a list ata ine mpeo and he has a TV. media house he has Aina a tv lead. he has a radio ngenda ku janelist i'm going to come with a list buli munga me mugamba gwe I tell everyone you, you have a woman in this place you you have a woman in this place pastors who are talking they were all quiet then i told the pastor why were they quiet this pastor he told me my son pray for the man not to bring the list because when he brings the list there are so many that will be ashamed it's like what like the children of pastors that are in england and those here in uganda belonging to pastors it's like does he have the list and told me that one has the list like we are finished we see people I feel the power. I feel power ya kwenda. Power ya adultery which kind of power? I feel the power. Power is mzima sana kunyonyola no zitema tema. Tipulira power yo bwezi. The power of adultery. Fitulo was a power ya goba mzima. The power of chasing demons. Muri mu abantu abamunga katonda yabasala yo ruwo bwezi. There some people when God disconnected them because of adultery. Ato bwezi tebabu wolerezo bwezi babwenenya bwenenya no imilira mu kituti no gamba abo luganda nzemba de nsumbe kanisa na yo ruwa lero nzize mu kulokoka mbadde mwenzi ntambulide mu chikola kino kumale banga mukama ansonywe. And adultery, they don't give excuses for it, but they just repent. You stand as a pastor and say, I've been a pastor, but adulterous for this long. May the Lord forgive me. Other believers to come out and confess and we restore the glory of God. Yes. We are to put Let us put right starting with this act of adultery. Let me speak this also. Bishop, you can chase the woman. No Tell her go away. I've been just committing adultery with you. Let me bring back my wife. Even if you're a pastor. Even if you're a believer. The Bible teaches and says. The prodigal son. When he came back to his senses. Let us come back to our senses. And we know God doesn't want adultery. And we put things right. It hurts. It hurts to talk of heaven but when you're going to hell adultery takes you to hell i don't have time but i'll continue teaching I'll show you how god says i hate people that chase away their wives god does not want adultery pastor what should we do if the woman is bothering me Bible speaks things very well Matthew 19 I will teach about it it says after separating with your wife stay there even the one who is divorced should stay alone whoever marries her or whoever gets married to him has committed adultery. Do you know what God means there? That they put you there if you divorce with your wife if the situation has gone worse stay there alone and you remain alone. If you're there alone the first year, second year, third year. If you feel that you want to come back to your wife or your husband, you will go back when he's also there waiting for you. They leave him there for you. When you go back to him or her, that is not adultery. But adultery in the house of the Lord. 
it has removed the glory. It has made us hajis. There's a haji who says, that one is our They are joking with us that way. Let us overcome what we call adultery. Let us run away from adultery. The girl, child, overcome adultery. You're not the helper who has brought to church to help everyone. You know, Pastor. This brother clung unto me. I was like, okay, let me just help him. Who brought you to be a helper? Just run away. Joseph ran away. He ran away naked. And he remained like. When you talk about Joseph running away from Potiphar's wife, for Potiphar was so rich like his sister. The woman had promised him everything. But he ran away and left her with her. Maybe she even told him, look at you, that is how you will die. Whenever you overcome, God gives you more power. Whenever you overcome adultery, and overcome any act of sin, then God gives you more power. Let's pray to God to strengthen us. These were hearts. The marrieds. To be the ones going for other women. Married, what should they do? Let us run away from adultery. We have been singles. Let us be with singles who are real singles. We have youths. Let them not be adulterous. We have pastors who are not adulterous. We have apostles who are not adulterous. But we stand in adultery. And then we just give ourselves titles. From today, I'm a doctor. You're like, I'm a doctor of the adulterous people. Adultery can make you go to hell. Adultery spoils families. The family that has been with joy, then sorrow enters. Adultery brings power. I'll read you that. that. a person who does that, they rule all their things. Adultery blocks the blessing that would have come. Someone moves and they curse. God does not want adulterous people. Let us overcome adultery. Let us move with our God. Let us call him to come. That when he watches us, he sees us like this and the Even if we just raise up our hands. Let us make a difference and a change. By the time we push girls into marriages and the boys, when they say like this, that from today. But we have others who are going to join into marriage. You're like telling them to add on the many times. God bless you. As we overcome adultery. Come before you today. Spoken in your word and say that a horrible word has manifest. Adultery has been seen in Israel. We don't want to just cover ourselves. Lord, in your house there's adultery. Because you're still sitting on the throne of grace. And you pardon thousands and thousands of those who seek you. Lord, give us power. That we may not just hear words, but we be doers. We decide. We are in this lockdown. 
that we may bind some things. We have overcome that also. But I know your grace is there. It can help us and we stand. Pray for the grace unto the girl child and to the boy child. Pray for grace unto the marriage. Some had separated. Others want to separate. Others are there in adult. Lord, I pray. May you give the grace bring back people into the understanding. I pray for my fellow ministers that have been captured in this act of adultery. May you restore them. Let them move in righteousness. Let them move in priests that are acceptable to stand before you. Lord, as a child, as we are in lockdown, we don't want to just go through it. We don't know why this has happened to us. Sometimes you are demanding things from us. You want to put right a life. You want to put right the judge. But when we are just shouting, let them open and open. Lord, we pray. Bring us back. This time round, we have some things we are determined to lose. That we may look like you. Give you glory. Give you glory. Through Jesus' name. Amen. We shall continue from there. Overcome what we call adultery. And adultery, talk about it. We don't fear to talk about adultery. Bless you. This morning, come out to offer in the house of the Lord. Some people who organize their tithes and offer to raise them, bring them after. Others who make services home. God bless you. Those who bring their tithes and give them in. And even on the account, even those through the mobile. All of you, God bless you. And to those who want to offer. Phone is 0779. 0779. 0779. God bless you. coming in your house today. Come and tithe and offer the to give us a soulless blessing. Children of our Lord. Stand in your feet. Ask for your blessing. Because you say. For the children of Israel, a blessing. May God bless you. For the blessing upon their wives. Those who are jobless. Those who are jobless. Hard Jobs are hit. God will make a way. Make a way for them. Give your children a blessing. Give your glory be glorified. In Jesus' name. God bless you.